This video tutorial is brought to you by TipSquirrel at www.tipsquirrel.com. For all the best Photoshop and Lightroom tips, follow at TipSquirrel on Twitter or go to facebook.com slash TipSquirrel. Hello everybody, Mike Hoffman here, and today's tip comes to us from Facebook, where in the Photoshop and Lightroom group, a user asked, how can I remove the white background of a pencil sketch that I've imported into Photoshop? In this case, the user had already selected the white background and deleted it, but was left with some white and gray fringing. And so we'll take a look at how to remove this white background completely. And as with anything else in Photoshop, there are several ways to accomplish the same end result. So we'll look at a few of them. And we'll start by duplicating this layer, and we'll turn the original off, and we'll work on the copy. Now, a typical first attempt by many users would be to grab the Magic Wand tool. And with the tolerance set to the default of 32 tones and the contiguous option not selected so that we'll pick everything on the layer, we'll click anywhere in the white. And immediately, any white tones that are within 32 tones of the point that I selected will become part of the selection. And at this point, we can simply press the Delete or the backspace key and remove those white pixels. If we deselect, we can zoom in a little bit closer and we can see that the results are not exactly what we would want. We've got this gray and white hodgepodge of pixels here and it doesn't look very good. Now there are a couple of ways that we can remedy this. The first thing that we can do is to simply bring up a levels adjustment by pressing Control or Command L. Now here we can see the range of pixels and we can simply drag from the left to darken everything down. So that looks pretty good, but we've lost some of the detail in here. So it's not the best option. We'll cancel out of that. Now here's another option that we might use, and this is to use Image Adjustments Threshold. And with Threshold, we're going to drive everything on this layer to either black or to white and it's determined by the location of this slider. So any tones to the left of the slider will become black, any tones to the right will become white. So if we drag the slider all the way to the right, we drive everything on the layer to black, everything that's left after we deleted the background. And so that's a pretty good rendition. One of the advantages of using Threshold is that we can actually go the other way, and we can send everything to white. And this gives us a white sketch on the background. And so this is a pretty good option. But now I'm going to show you what I personally would use. And this, for me, is the best option. I'm going to delete this copy that we made. And I'm going to make another copy of this scanned in layer. And with the scanned in layer active, I'm going to simply change the layer's blend mode. So here in the layers panel, we have this drop down list that says normal. We click on this and we get a list of blending modes. I'm going to choose the Multiply Blending Mode. And with Multiply, we're going to completely lose everything that's white. And the great thing about Multiply is that it will only make pixels darker. So you'll never end up with a gray or a whitish halo around anything. It's only going to make things darker. Now, with this Blend Mode set, keep in mind that we still have the entire layer there to work with. So we can change it back to Normal. We haven't lost anything. So let's change it back to Multiply, and now let's bring up our Levels Adjustment once again by pressing Control or Command L. Now we can simply grab the slider in the middle here, and we can adjust this back and forth and adjust the density of what we have. And we can see a good amount of detail here in this shadow and some of the lighter pencil strokes. And I'll even cancel out of that and zoom in a little closer so you can see. And in this case, we've got quite a bit of detail going on, and we can control the density as we see fit. Now one thing to keep in mind, and again we'll zoom back out, is you may notice a square shadow representing where the paper was. And this is because the paper wasn't pure white. Once again we'll bring levels to the rescue with a command or control L and we'll simply tweak the slider on the right hand side to drive the background more to white. And you can see that shadow disappear and reappear as we move this slider back and forth. 
So there you have it. Several different quick ways to drop out a white background using the magic wand in combination with a levels or threshold adjustment and the multiply layer blending mode. Also in combination with some levels adjustments to fine tune the results. Give this a try for yourself. I'm sure that you'll find it useful. My name is Mike Hoffman. My website is hoffmanartdesign.com. You'll find a variety of Photoshop and Lightroom and photography tips, tricks, and information there. Or you can follow me at mhoffman2001 on Twitter. Or you can catch me on Google Plus by simply going to gpluslikehoffman.com. Also, don't forget to check out the new Google Plus community for the Photoshop nuts. If you go to Google Plus in Communities, search for Photoshop Nuts and join us there. We'd love to have you. You'll find this to be a great extension of the Tip Squirrel community, and we'd like to have you there. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial.